So he's going to make us our delicious carnivore lunch for today, but I'm going to share with you guys the top benefits that I've seen since eating carnivore. Heavenly Mind at Home and I'm so excited for today's video. We're doing a September show and tell all month long. So each and every day of the week we share a video with you and this month specifically we are answering y'all's questions quite literally showing you exactly what we do and why and just sharing more about it and I'm really excited today to talk more about the carnivore way of eating. I love carnivore. I've shared about it before. Um, we have more that we want to share with you guys so there's links down in the description to see other carnivore videos that we've done and anytime you guys have questions, honestly, in any of our videos, leave a comment down below. If you have a question about carnivore that you want to see answered either in our Saturday Q and A's that we do, or in another one of these September show and tell videos, leave me a comment down there and just put a little steak emoji in it. So that way I know that you have a question you want to see answered about carnivore, but let's go ahead and get into this today. I want to talk about the top benefits that I've seen since doing carnivore. And honestly, I think the last benefit I'm going to share with you guys is the most profound. Even though the weight loss and the other stuff like that stuff's fantastic, I appreciate it, but there was something even deeper that I really wasn't expecting to find with carnivore. And I think other carnivores are seeing this too. So you guys will have to let me know down in the comments, but let me just briefly tell you about kind of what I mean by the term carnivore and quite literally what that looks like, how long we've been doing it, give you guys a little bit of the stats before we get into the benefits we're seeing. So carnivore, the carnivore way of eating is quite literally only eating meat and animal based products. Now, this was huge to me when my husband suggested this. I thought he had lost his marbles. There was no way, no how that could be a healthy thing to do. And I was like, I'm going to go research into this because you're crazy to think that, right? Like, no way. I was trying to eat plant based. I was doing all of these different things. I was amazed. <laughs> I was absolutely amazed at what I found when I really started researching into it. And that's why we share it with others. We eat just meat and just meat, animal based products, right? It, anything in that realm. That means cutting out all vegetables. That means cutting out all grains. That means cutting out even most fruits. Um, we kind of started off with a carnivore. Um, I still see some benefits in bringing in a few berries and things like that. It's basically taking how carnivores eat and eating what they eat. Um, and so we stayed really strict carnivore for like 90 days was our first kind of, Hey, let's try this out and do it. Um, since doing this, we started the beginning of last year. So we're in like, you know, a little over a year and a half of eating carnivore. I will lean a little more keto for, I'll usually stay carnivore for a while. And then I'll kind of bring in a few things now that I know what um, really irritates my system, but we still really limit any grains. We limit a lot of vegetables, just a lot of plant products in general. But um, depending on where you're at in this journey and checking it out, I think the benefit of going very strict carnivore for a period of time is really, really important. And if you want to stay there, absolutely, you can stay there. Um, if you want to bring in a few things that, you know, once you've really detoxed your system, um, that's kind of what I do. And I fall more in that kind of ketovore area. But of course, we can get into all of that in a future video. I just wanted you guys to know, like, that's what carnivore is. That's what I'm talking about in this. Um, this is how long we've been doing it about a year, a little over a year and a half now. And I will say that the benefits I'm going to share with you guys are the benefits that I've literally seen in my, my body specifically, but in for our family as well, as we've all been eating this way. Um, we haven't been a hundred percent on point for the entire year and a half. I will say between last year, we had crazy travel and, and just kind of unexpected things going on. 
it was just really hard when dealing with some really like high stress, high emotion, high chaos um, trips to, to keep perfectly on everything. We've had times of sickness. We've had times of just, you know, things going on. And so um, do we stay like 100% like super strict on this? No. And I'm still seeing these benefits. Um, are there some things that we find that they're important and they're special and I'm not going to make an idol out of eating carnivore. Our kids still have cake for their birthday. Um, we still made cinnamon rolls for back to school because that's a really special tradition for our family. Um, there's still certain things that we do. Again, I, carnivore isn't an idol in our lives and I think as Christians that's really important to do these heart checks on that. But has applying this way of eating to our lives had massive, massive benefits that I wish I could stop everybody in the grocery store and be like, stop, listen. Yes. And that's what I want to share with you guys here today. The first benefit that is obviously the most noticeable would be the weight loss. How much weight did I lose on carnivore? And for me, that number is over 30 pounds. Now I did not start this to lose weight necessarily. I was hoping I would lose weight. I've had four kids. I got some weight. I would love to lose. And I was at the heaviest that I have been not pregnant in my adult life. I don't really care about how much I weigh, like what the number is, but I care about how I feel. And I was not feeling comfortable really in anything because I just was carrying too much extra weight around that doesn't feel good on my frame. It just, I don't feel comfortable. And so I was hoping that I would lose weight. And what really amazed me is in the beginning, there's a lot of weight loss. You know, once you start cutting out all those carbs, all the processed junk, the sugars, right? All of that excess it just falls right off of you. And it was kind of fun every day to like weigh myself and be like, wow, I'm down again, down again, down again. Then I started noticing things just fitting better, you know, like it, it didn't even matter what the number on the scale said, like things were all of a sudden big on me. I was needing to, you know, wear a smaller size or do something. And then it kind of surprised me because my weight loss really stalled for a while and I, the scale just was not budging. And, um, I was, kind of aggravated with it, to be honest with you guys. And then also we were stressed and, and changing and we were doing stuff. I was like, okay, maybe it's because I'm not really sticking as strictly to this as I should. And, and maybe that would have made a difference. But I also saw a lot of people talking about the more internal healing that has to happen. A lot of times you're not going to see the external weight loss when stuff inside is trying to repair, is trying to heal. And so for a period, I really wasn't seeing the scale budge, my PCOS was like disappearing. I was not having endometriosis pain anymore. My skin, you know, all these other things were like getting better, these like internal things. And so I really think that that was the case because all of a sudden I dropped 20 pounds in a month not doing anything special, literally just continuing on eating a carnivore way of eating, you know, just kind of continuing on down it and weight just fell off. I mean, I, I couldn't even keep up with it. It was like one day I was here and the next day I was here, it just happened. And so I have lost well over 30 pounds. Um, I'm probably even closer to that 40 pound mark, to be honest with you guys. Um, I do still have like a little bit of weight I would like to, you know, have fall off, but it's okay. Um, what really amazed me though, is to lose that, you know, over 30 pounds with no real effort. I don't exercise. I'm not doing anything special. So maybe if I did that stuff, like it would be an even bigger number, but I don't really do any of that. Um, my husband and I, um, haven't really even done it for the past few months. We, we used to walk every morning. We haven't been doing that, um, for the past few months, just life and chaos. I do try to stay active. Just, I mean, I have an active life. I've got four kids. We homeschool, we homestead, you know, we kind of do all these different things. So sure. I stay active, but I don't do anything special. And the weight loss has been really easy. I've tried hard to lose weight quite a few times in my adult life. And this has been the easiest by far. I've lost more weight than I ever have. And really by doing next to nothing other than eating meat. So for me, easy weight loss, absolutely possible with carnivore. The second and really exciting thing that I noticed was my hormones have all completely rebalanced. Um, 
hormone imbalance is huge in women and it's something that I wish we all talked more about, knew more about, and could do more about. Our fourth child nursed until she was three years old and I really think that that super extended nursing time just tanked my hormones. My skin was a mess. I didn't feel good. Um, I was in a lot of pain. Um, absolutely no sex drive. I mean, you look at all of these different things that I know nobody really wants to stand up and talk about, but your hormones being balanced is huge to your overall health. And mine were a hot mess for way too long. I was noticing all these different things I was struggling with and the more I would research into them and look into them, it all came back to this. My insulin resistance, right? All of these different things that we deal with. And so it was really, really frustrating and I really wanted to see my hormones get balanced. My hormones are doing great. I actually just finally went to the doctor for the first time ever in my adult life, not related to a pregnancy, and had all of my stuff checked out just because I wanted to see. And all of my numbers look fantastic. I was already feeling fantastic, but I kind of wanted to go in just to like see for sure. Everything looks great. My hormones are completely balanced. I'm feeling so much better. A lot of those symptoms that I was seeing um, that really trace back to my hormones, those things are cleared up. Um, I keep doing this and keep working, you know, toward it and making sure and paying attention to these things. But if you are looking to really reset your hormones, to get these things balanced, to get, you know, everything working like it should, I have seen huge benefit and all of this coming back together since eating a carnivore diet. Okay, spoiler alert, I feel kind of silly to say this one, but can I just, we're friends here, okay? We're hanging out and talking. This benefit I was loving until like this past month, I got completely covered in poison ivy. I still have some of it on me, it doesn't matter, but I got completely covered in poison ivy. Yes, again, because I got covered in poison ivy last month too. We've been doing a lot of homestead projects. It got so bad I had to go to my doctor. She put me on an oral steroid. I've never taken one before. And um, all of a sudden I noticed my skin breaking out so bad. And I turned to my husband and I said, what is going on? I feel like a teenager again. Like I usually have this so under control and right now it is not. And then we looked it up and we're like, oh, the medication, that's doing it. So I'm going to say that my third benefit here that I love so much about carnivore is how great my skin is. Although I say that right now and I know my skin is not perfect, but it's from the oral medication. So anyways, just ignore that. I love how much healthier my skin is since doing carnivore. I I think it's so important that we take care of our skin, especially for us ladies. I think it's really, really important. And um, I really, the more plant-based I was eating, the more skin issues I was seeing. Um, I actually did start subscribing to Curology um, a couple years ago because I was so fed up with having like this awful, awful skin and dealing with acne as an adult, like seriously. Um, I subscribed to Curology. I actually have a link down below. If you guys want to try, I'll love it. You guys can get a really good deal down there. I love Curology. It's amazing. I have some great like into aging properties in there and it just keeps my skin um, feeling so good. But cutting all of that junk out of my diet, not having all the grains, not having all the sugars, not having all of the stuff, even a lot of the plant-based foods that I found was causing massive inflammation in me, cutting all of that out, having clear skin, amazing. Do I get a couple things that usually pop up around that time of the month? Because yes, now my hormones are regulated, so I actually have a normal regular cycle. That was amazing. First time ever in my life. I have something that pops up around that time. Sure, that's it. Curology gives me my awesome little pimple patches. I put it on, it's gone, I don't have to worry about it. But being able to eat so much cleaner now with eating pure carnivore, or even when I eat ketovore, it's only eating the things that I know don't bother my system because I've tested it out. My skin, so much better. I love it. Even to know that I'm, you know, just consuming more collagen and I've got these things in my diet. Um, it really is so nice knowing that, you know, it's, it's not a vanity thing. It's a way of like, I want to take care of the body that I have and what I'm given and seeing my skin health improve so drastically has been an amazing benefit of a carnivore way of eating. I mentioned it before, but struggling with PCOS and endometriosis is not fun. And my symptoms, especially with the PCOS was getting out of control. 
the pain, the swelling. I mean, just so many issues and problems. And I was trying different things. I was taking supplements. I was trying to eat more plant-based, right? I was doing all of these different things to try to help it. And well, some things did offer some relief to a degree. They did some different supplements and things, but I was amazed that focusing on eating carnivore, all of a sudden I noticed, wow, I have not had any days recently where my stomach is swollen like I'm four months pregnant and it's hard as a rock because that used to be a normal occurrence. Couldn't remember the last time it happened. Different pain and things that I'm having, all of a sudden, I just, I can't remember the last time I had them. To see my PCOS symptoms practically disappear has been amazing. And I can tell when I do bring a few things in, if I start to bring in a little too much and I'm not being very disciplined in it, oh, I start to have that like feeling deep inside and I'm like, oh, there it is. There's the PCOS. Yep. Okay. It's too much. I need to clean myself up here. And that's usually what kind of prompts that like, eh, let's do another 90 days pure carnivore, right? Like let's kind of lean back that way. And then sure enough, those symptoms, they just kind of disappear. Seeing that, getting that relief, like between my hormones balancing, the PCOS symptoms disappearing, losing some weight, like these have been some amazing benefits. And I have seen tons of people online talking about how they also saw their PCOS and endometriosis symptoms disappear, if not get down to bare minimum with a carnivore way of eating. And it's also another big reason why we did this with our kids as well. I have three girls and um, I wanted to make sure, you know, we, we see genetically in our family these symptoms happening um, throughout the generations. And I didn't want my girls to have to go through that. And so they've started eating a more carnivore, ketivore way of eating and seeing that, you know, kind of play out and help them as well. My oldest specifically, I'm really, really thankful and really prayerful that this can be something that can truly serve her in her life. So that way she doesn't have to go through the struggles that me and her grandma and everyone before us has had to go through. The final benefit that I want to share with you guys here today, I think honestly is bigger than all the rest of them. And that really does come down to a healthier mental relationship with food. Now, I love to eat. Okay, I'm gonna say it, love to eat. Um, pretty certain that I out eat my husband in everything. Uh, he, he, oh, he will joke and say that that was one of the first things that he loved about me. We've been together since I was 14 years old. And one of the first places he took me out to eat um, was a steakhouse. And I ordered like the biggest steak on the menu and totally out ate him. I love Mexican food. I love, you know, really steak is my thing, but I like to eat. And being an adult and kind of struggling in some ways, especially after having kids and all the different things and not wanting to have all this extra weight hanging off of me and kind of dealing with the mental aspect of that, starting to count calories and do all of these different things, you know, comes in and it really just puts you in such an unhealthy mental place, I think for pretty much everybody, but not having to constantly obsess over food. I mean, sure, maybe you've got some sugar addiction you need to work through. Maybe having that initial like stop craving all the carbs and processed foods, but not obsessing over food. I don't count my calories. I eat as much meat based things as I want every single day. I don't count. I don't worry about it. I eat until I am comfortably full. Now, I'm not even a person who likes eggs and I now like crave eggs every morning. I eat a small, simple breakfast. My husband makes me bacon and eggs every single morning and we eat one meal a day. Um, so I, I do, I have a little bit of bacon and eggs. The kids eat it too. And then we have our one like main meal in the late afternoon, early evening. And I eat as much as I want. Some days that's a big, huge steak. Some days it's a couple burger patties, a few pieces of chicken. Like, I mean, some days it can be any number of things and we can share the food reading. If you guys want to see the type of food we eat, leave me a comment. Let me know. We're happy to share that with you guys, but I don't count calories. I don't worry about it. I know that if I'm going to consume something that is meat or animal based, I can consume as much of it as I want. And I just eat it all until I feel comfortably full. I don't stress about it. I don't worry about it. And guess what? 
I keep losing weight, I keep feeling better, I'm sleeping better, I have more energy, you know, all of these wonderful like benefits are coming from it and that's fantastic. But my mental relationship there is so much better. And I think so many of us really struggle with the mental aspect where we're always thinking about food. We're just desiring to eat these foods that we know we shouldn't. And we're eating too much of this. We can't give up these drinks that we shouldn't be drinking. You know, we're living off of the soda or whatever it may be. And we're just like obsessing over it. Or we're constantly worried about how much did I eat? I, I can't eat too much. So I only get to enjoy a couple bites. I enjoy all of it and it is delicious and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have that mental load of obsessing over my food anymore. And that I believe honestly is probably the greatest benefit out of all of these. And I just listed some pretty amazing benefits, but the mental aspect of this amazing and I praise the Lord for it. So friends, those would be the top benefits that I have seen since eating a carnivore way of eating. Um, I am super excited, like I said, to share more about carnivore, ketovore, kind of everything in between. We've been doing this as a family. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Again, happy, happy to share. If you want to know what we're eating, exactly what we're doing, anything of the like. And I'm just so thankful to have found something. I think it's so important as followers of Christ that we do truly care for our bodies. I believe that God gave us everything that we need here to take care of ourselves. And so we should do the best with what we have to take care of ourselves to the best of our ability. So hopefully this can be something that can encourage you today. Otherwise, be sure to join us here tomorrow. Each Saturday, Sabrina and I do a Q&A session and we've got some really good questions to cover this week. So be sure when you subscribe to turn on your little bell notifications. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and leave you with that carnivore playlist so you can go kind of binge out and learn a little bit more about what exactly it looks like to be a family that eats the carnivore way of eating. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye friends. Thank you.